So what's your opinion on modern art? Uh, it's hard to put into words, really. I, I just know what I care for and, and what I don't. Like this, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mira? Miro. Miro. I don't know why, but I, I just adore it. The feeling it gives. The movie Far From Heaven, also directed by Todd Haynes. What we ended up doing was changing the museum scene quite a bit. That was really difficult to give up. But perhaps it's just picking up where religious art left off. Somehow trying to show you divinity. The modern artist just pairs it down to the basic elements of shape and color. But when you look at that Moreau, you feel it just the same. Wow, that's lovely, Raymond. <laughs> I was convinced that we should stay on um, the little girl to show that she doesn't want to go do what she's going to do and, and all that stuff. And we ended up not cutting it that way. And we lost just things that were beautiful that took too long. Oh, uh, hello. May I help you? Uh, is this the Whitaker residence? Yes. Are you Mrs. Frank Whitaker? Yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Reginald Carter, and this is Martha Livingston. We're members of the Hartford branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. As a chair that was a really hard scene, and it first seems very, very neutral, and then by the end, you realize what character you can identify with. This scene, was, it, it, it's, it's a small scene, and a, not that epochal in the movie, but those are always the scenes that give you the, the most trouble. One thing that's interesting to me about that scene is I believe you don't really identify with anyone particularly until the very end. And the person you identify with is the maid in the background as, as Julianne Moore, you know, kind of shrugs off the people and she's on her rush. And the maid never says a word, but as you get more access, as she comes forward in the frame and you get more access to her, you get the idea of the scene or one of the ideas oh, of the scene. So beautifully played, but so much of the real information is in the looks towards each other. And like for me, one of the, my favorite parts of the film is when you, you're on Julianne and he's saying, "I'm not going to be able to to go with you," and and she, she gets this look that, you know, you just know what she's doing. She's like, "Oh, I'll, I'll be strong, and I'm not going to complain." And you know, you, you see her make that transformation in my mind. Those are the things that you look for, you know? The dialogue, you sort of take care of itself. And that's what I mean. You find stuff and it, you, it stays with you. <laughs>